Hello, and welcome back for another match of Vintage with Grixis Control. Uh, we are on the draw against the same opponent from last round, so I'm going to assume that they are playing Burning Oath. And I think that we have a good hand with uh, turn one, Mental Misstep on the draw, plus Dark Confidant on you know the next turn with the ability to hold up Brainstorm because we have a Mox Jet. So they're not on Burning Oath, it looks like, but we'll definitely cast Counter Fast Bond since it is a restricted card. So it looks like they're playing Gush. I don't know of any other decks that play Fast Bond. So we're gonna hold up this Brainstorm. And yeah, like, if they resolved fast bond here, then they could float two mana and gush and just, like, go nuts. So we're going to get our academy into play. And I think just pass holding this brainstorm. I see no real reason to fire it off. Also fine letting their brainstorm resolve. I'm not huge on fighting over cantrips. I'm I'm pretty big on just like countering their really nutso cards like fast bond. Like to be clear, we have to cast brainstorm, snapcaster, brainstorm at the end of their turn. But I would rather hold that until we have a clearer idea of what's going on. Okay. This is a pretty good idea of what's going on. And I would obviously like to beat them down as much as possible. So we can scroll for force. There are just like a ton of lines here, but attacking first is correct. So we have two, four, six mana. So we can scroll for force, play Tinker, and get Blight Steel. We can scroll for recall and cast it and just try and leverage our advantage that way. Kind of like scrolling for recall. Actually, no. Tinker with Drain Backup just seems better. Like, they die the next turn, and we have a counter in hand. And this is all just, like, entirely immune to mental misstep. So, that's our play. Drain might yet earn its money. Okay. I think I want to drain this gush. Because, like, worst case, we just, like, 
See a bunch of uh Jesus. They're a storm deck. Well, what a hilarious reversal. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Teach me to count counter divinations instead of the uh Etherlings. Our opponent could also easily spend like five minutes here and then concede. I mean I think I'm dead, but Okay. Well, that was a relatively fast Uh, Doomsday stack. So, this is their deck. Um, looks like they are straight blue black. Okay, so they put Lotus and Recall in there. Cute. I like it. I like it very much. All right. Well, time to see how they do against a bunch of diverse hate cards. Um, I don't know about keeping Bolt in there. It's tough. Like, my instincts are telling me to cut Bolt and Jace. But Jace just seems too good at burying them. And Bolt is just like a worse Pyroblast, and we don't want too many of that effect. We want to like also be able to counter their Doomsdays. So I think this is it. I feel like I'm cutting Tinker way too much. I also feel like I'm boarding in Surgical Extraction too much. Okay. I'm fine with this. Yeah, this hand is sweet. It's just got, like, a bunch of ways to buy time. Also, like, Pyroblast, obviously great against them, because they're gushing instead of, like, cruel bargaining. And Snapcaster is almost assuredly going to be Mystic Snake, but, you know, much better. Not interested in letting our opponent see our hand at all. I said good day, sir. Cool. So now we just have to cast, uh, counter all of their gushes. That should be easy, right? And by easy, I mean, good lord, their hand was incredible. So I would like to start beating them down 
literally right now. Which means just aggressively countering the sort of stuff and hoping that they don't have ugh. like the risk reward was like getting snapcaster into play versus like risking that they have or could draw into gush and so taking down our pyroblast for a turn was like the trade-off in getting snapcaster into play but we really need a clock or the stuff doesn't work Yeah, I thought they were Mystical Tutoring for Gush. If the last card is Dark Ritual, then we die. Eh. Eh. Ha-ha. All right. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. I've played against a lot of different draw engine combo. Com how many do you. Jesus. Alright. Well. Gush bond quite the engine. Once again, as soon as I stray from my convictions about countering the action, I get horribly punished by a fast bond. Learned my lesson about just letting the stupid Gitaxian probe resolve. I'm not really sure why they played out all of their lands. Given that, like, that has a real cost. And they didn't use any of the mana. But I'm going to assume that they know what they're doing. Okay, can't have that one. Sorry. Hooray! We beat someone who had fast bond in play on turn one and cast all four gushes and lost. So, that was a byproduct of them getting really aggressive on replaying their lands. And us getting our snapcaster into play the turn that we needed to. So I feel good about all of that. We played aggressively, we drew well, but things paid off. And Mana Train earned its keep. I want to talk about how Mana Train finally did something unique to Mana Train. It was Counterspell when Spell Pierce wouldn't have also been Counterspell. Good job, Mana Train. You did it. You did it. You countered a gush. That's like what you're supposed to do in life, right? Counter gushes? Anyway. Um, yeah. So that's what's up. Uh, this hand is Benooners. We will be fetching Volcanic Island and Mysticaling for Recall, assuming no... No undue aggression. You can have this Gitaxian probe, dear opponent. You can have it. It's all you. Look at all these counter spells, and implied counter spells, and a useless Yogmoss will right now. For a six carder, though, it's really decent. I think we just have to counter this. It's like if if they get doomsday, then 
They could just win on the spot. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Ritual Doomsday. Excellent. So the only way that like countering probe would have been correct is if the dark ritual was the top card of their deck. Or like one of the three cards that they just cast were the top three cards of were, was the top card of their deck. Although they probably would have misstepped our misstep basically regardless. Misstepping someone else's misstep just feels like such a stupid sub game. Like, it seems like such an uninteresting card. Like, obviously it's very powerful, but, like, it's self-defeating in a way that is going to amplify its use instead of depress its use. Like, with Gainsay, if people are playing a bunch of Gainsays, you can play something else. You can't not play Recall, Vampiric, Mystical, Dark Ritual, all of that. Shockingly, they have Black Lotus and Ancestral in their Doomsday stack. Maybe they misbuilt it and they're just cold to a Pyroblast. That would be sweet. So they've got like Lotus, Lab Maniac, Recall. I have to figure out like eight cards. This, this is tough. Yeah, Lotus, obviously. Yeah, Yagma as well. Okay, we're kind of getting down to it. They can't recall themselves. Oh, they have a mental misstep. Gross! And a pyre blast. So they force and they have two cards in their library. So we can mystical for force and not die on our turn. Or not die the next turn, rather. But that's still... Like, we need a way to... 
when. They don't have a blue source. So like, I think we just, yeah. Run this and hope that they can't, hope that their last two cards aren't Gitaxian probes, which they are. Ugh. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think we just die, because they cycle probes. Or not. Huh, I was... Cool. I didn't think that was going to happen. But, I like, I think we had to play to win there, instead of just, like, getting force and losing to, like, them naturally decking. But, yeah. I like it. On to the next.